What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Week 10 challenges are here. So let's get ready, let's be prepared. The first which I'm going to start with is eliminations at Lazy Lake. You know the drill. You will need three eliminations, only three. So land or get into Lazy Lake and just eliminate three opponents that's it easy to do challenge because if you st if we will still have the fort nightmares you can do it also as a ghost second challenge drive a boat from fortilla to the ruins in less than four minutes i pinged on the map where are the locations of the boat there should be three boats you can do it right now in team rumble only but let's wait for the update here's the one first location of the boat and we got three boats in the hangar near the gas station this is one and two inside there is maybe the fifth boat on the edge of the fortilla but we will try with this these two boats inside the garage here what I'm recommending, I will put the timer right now. You will see, you have 1100 meters to the ruins. I'm recommending to do it with your teammates because you will also have a challenge to ride 20,000 meters in a vehicle. It says in a vehicle, not in the car, so the boat counts. Let's hope. After the update, we will get choppers back, it's a vehicle 2, boats back in the game, we will get some kind of a normal game, not only the LTMs with the Fortnite mares in solo duos or squads. Remember, this is going to be a bumpy ride, because people are going to be at Slurpee Swamp. There is a challenge to collect metal from Slopery Storm, 200 metal. So, when you get to the Weeping Woods, you should be safe. But, as you can see, you are not always safe. They there will be shooting, so boost your boat as fast as you can. Right now, I don't have any weapon. And don't leave the boat. Don't leave the vehicle it says in less than four minutes but it didn't says that you can leave the vehicle so be sure not to leave it just go for a ride enjoy the ride until the ruins yeah they're still shooting but when you get to the ruins you will finish the challenge remember every ride counts so let's be the other guy, the guy in the Slurpy Swamp, collecting metal from Slurpy Swamp. The challenge that overlaps with the drive a boat from Fortilla to the ruins. Well, here you know what you have to do, you have to collect metal. Only 200, remember you are in Team Rumble. Why in Team Rumble? Because you will collect metal the fastest way. You just want to finish this challenge nice and easy to get your XP points and to level up. Fastest way to collect metal. Fences. Every kind of metal fences. Even the truck here gives a lot of metal. So, as you can see, we already got 200 metal collected. If you don't know the locations of the fences, here are some too, here are some pipes. They are giving also good amount of metal, so everything is going to be nice and easy, but you are not going to be here alone. That's the main problem. Get ready for the fight, of course. Just destroy everything. Don't forget the slurp barrels also gives you metal 
And now let's go to the tricky part of the challenges for upstate New York. We have three challenges here. Two challenges, but I recommend again Stark Industries or upstate New York to eliminate opponents by hitting them with vehicle. You will need to eliminate three opponents last week. In week 9, we had to deal damage. The Stark robots counted, so what you want to do is to eliminate now Stark robots or opponents. It doesn't matter. It will be crowded here. If you land near this tree, you will easily find a fast vehicle that doesn't need any gas, but it will be crowded, probably. A lot of people will going for the fast car, so look up for the garage or any other car. You just need to eliminate the Stark robots. Don't forget, or the opponents, we hope, let's hope that the Stark robots will count. Of course, if you get eliminated, at least in the Fortnite Mares, you will come back as a ghost and you can do it again. So, good luck with this challenge. Next one, Sir Chest at Upstate New York. The whole island is the Upstate New York. So, you can Sir Chest at Stark Industries or the laboratory or at Lake Hart. It doesn't matter anywhere. Let's start from the middle. You will see... It will be overcrowded, really. So, for example, you can land here, almost in the middle of the island. You will have here two chests. I do it in Team Rumble. I recommend the Team Rumble because you have 100% chest spawn rate. So, for example, here you can easily get two chests. You can go over the lake but uh, there will be a lot of people probably there so let's go with alternatives let's try to do it nice and easy let's go over the road and the river on the upstate new york island the whole island the whole this place is the is a landmark that's called Upstate New York. Of course, when you get to the Stark Industries, it says Stark Industries. When you get to the Lake Heart, you get notification that you are at landmark Lake Heart. But the whole, whole part of this is the Upstate New York. So as you can see, this is the third chest, for example. On the top of the hill, you have one chest there. That's the fort, if you can make it there. And here you have a small campsite. If you destroy the tent, you will find another chest. So, four chests, at least in one game, will not be so bad. You can repeat it in two games and you are done. And while you're there, you can also fish. But let's check out also the secret laboratory of Tony Stark you got chests there of course it will count the Stark Industries will count with the chests so it doesn't matter where you go you just need to be on this landmark that's called upstate New York so as you can see right now doing it in Team Rumble Everybody just land somewhere. It will be crowded. Let's land here on the secret laboratory. And it says landmark Heart Lake. Don't be confused. It will count. The chest will count here. That's very important. But as I said, it will be crowded, especially here. People will run for this place. Many people will try to land here or at the Stark Industries. So get ready. 
Get ready to lose some nerves during this challenge, as usual. Of course, right now, while I'm recording it, I have a plenty of time. Nobody, no one's, no one lands here, but <laughs> we will see. We will see on Thursday what will happen on Thursday. It will be interesting. The next challenge while you are here, there will, there will be people fishing, fishing at Lake Hart. You need to catch fish at Lake Hart Lake. Five of them. It doesn't say that you need to use the fishing spots, so you need to catch fishes, only five fishes, yeah, but when you need a fishing rod or a harpoon, there is none, and of course, on the Heart Lake, there are not so many fishing spots, so get ready to lose some nerves with fishing also while others are shooting at you don't forget you will need to ride 20,000 meters in a vehicle so every time when you get a chance jump in the boat let's hope or in the car and let's hope they will bring us back the choppers let's hope let's hope let's hope so this is it guys that's the challenges for week 10 now if you like this video hit that like button touch that subscribe button and of course share this video to your friends and the most important thing is share the love guys share the love